In this revision video, we revise Pythagoras and two problems linked to Pythagoras. Please do share this video and also subscribe. I intend to release videos where possible daily in the run into the examinations. Okay, so the first two questions revise the key idea about Pythagoras. Now in problem one, we're asked to find the hypotenuse, which is the length opposite the right angle. Now to do this we do three simple steps. Now step one is to square the two sides. So five squared and six squared. Five squared is five times five which is twenty-five. Six squared which is six times six is thirty-six. Now, when we want to find the hypotenuse, again the length opposite the right angle, we add together these two results. So 25 plus 36, and this equals 61. What we then do with Pythagoras is we then, to find the actual length of the side, is to find the square root of this value. So we get our calculator. I'm going to find the square root of 61. We press this button here and we get 7.8 to one decimal place. If we've not got a calculator, we can leave the answer as a third. But if we've got a calculator or we can find the square root, we can actually give an answer like so. Now, in the second key example, we know the length of the hypotenuse and we're asked to find the length of one of the other two sides. Now, we begin this in the same way. We still square the two sides. 12 squared is 144, 15 squared is 225. However, if we know the hypotenuse, we subtract rather than add. So 225 take away 144, that equals 81. And then to find out the actual length of y, we find the square root of 81, which we actually know is 9. So the side y is 9 centimetres. So two key examples to find the hypotenuse we add. If we know the hypotenuse, to find either of the other two sides, we do a subtraction, having of course squared the sides to begin with. And the final step is to always then find the square root. So, the last two problems are problem solving questions involving Pythagoras. Now, in this question, we're asked to find the area. Now, we know that to find the area of a triangle, it's a half of the base times by the height. Now we know the height is 5, but we don't know the base, but we know the hypotenuse. So we can use Pythagoras, basically this example here, with different numbers, to find the base. So I start off by squaring. 5 squared is 25, 13 squared is 169. We know the hypotenuse, so I subtract 169, the big value, take away the smaller value, which is 144. Then to finish off, to find the actual base, I do the square root of 144, which equals 12. So I found the base has got a value of 12 centimetres. Now the area is the base times the height divided by 2. I've used the 13 to find the base, but now I know the base, the 13 now becomes basically irrelevant. So, the area, I do the base times by the height, which is 60, divided by 2, which is 30. So the area is 30 centimetres squared. We make sure we include the units for area in the answer. Now, in this problem, it was quite clearly a triangle. 
In the last problem, we're going to find the perimeter. We know three of the sides. To find the perimeter, we're going to add together all four sides of this trapezium. However, we don't know that long side here. However, this long side looks a lot like the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle. And if I were to draw a line down here, which is perpendicular, then this triangle has got a height of 6. However, because this whole length is 12 and this length here is 8, then what's left over must be this length here, which is 4, because 8 plus 4 is 12. So to find out the hypotenuse, which I can call x, just like in this example here, I can use Pythagoras on just this right angle triangle here. Now I want to find the hypotenuse, therefore it's an add example. So step one is to square the sides. 4 squared is 16, and 6 squared is 36. I then add together these values, so 16 plus 36, that just equals 52. Then to finish off, I find the square root of 52. 7.2 to one decimal place. So, this length here is 7.2. Therefore, to find the perimeter, I do 12 plus the 6 plus the 8 plus 7.2. Now, one good hint for examinations for any calculation, this one's quite simple, is the actual 7.2 is stored in the ants. And if this has got, let's say, harder values, I could just use the ants, the 7.2, and then add the 12, the 6, and the 8, whatever those values are. And it ensures that whatever the situation, especially ones which are more complicated, you get an accurate answer. So I get 33.2. And its perimeter, therefore it's a length, so therefore it is centimetres. So there we go. Key Pythagoras examples. To find the hypotenuse, we square, add, then square root. If we know the hypotenuse, we still square, but we do the bigger one, take the smaller one, and then of course still square root. And then with problem solving, we can look for the right angled triangle and then use the correct application of Pythagoras to solve the problem. Please do revisit my channel, please also share and subscribe, and good luck in your examinations which are coming along.